This is by far my most asked question that I get in my DMs, which is, Caitlin, what app do you use to edit your videos? So right here in this video, I decided to tell you guys which are the best video editing apps out there that you can use to edit your own videos for your Instagram content. Hey there, my name is Caitlin Redding and I am the CEO and lead strategist of KR Video Marketing Agency. And right here on this channel, we teach coaches, consultants, and solopreneurs how to expand their reach, get seen by the masses through implementing video marketing systems and strategies that will increase their credibility and ultimately increase your profits. So right here in this video, let's talk about video editing apps so that you can up level your own video content on your social media. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you the probably our favorite, or I should say my favorite tool to use when it comes to not only creating content online, but also the content that converts. But before we get into this video, I want to just bring your attention to my video checklist where we actually go in depth right in that checklist on all the different apps that you can use, whether you use Apple or Android, whether you want to use your phone or even a desktop. Plus in there, I go over some of the best equipment when it comes to making videos and some tips for you, especially if you're camera shy, when it comes to creating video. This is a checklist, a guide for you to use before you hit record so that when you actually do record a video, you feel prepared, your setup is there, so it brings in that layer of pleasability into your video and that is what's gonna convert your video content into sales of your business. So if you wanna download that checklist, again, just go to the link below this video and download it there for free. Now, to dive into my favorite video editing app, we're going to break it down between whether it's Apple or Android and then also some cross platform so apps that will do both and going over a little bit more of an analysis between the two and the different options out there for you. Now, the first one that I will bring up, which is probably the most used app outside of actually using, say, Instagram Reels to edit your videos, is InShot. Now, I have to be honest, I'm an InShot virgin. I don't use this app. This is just me going through my own research and what I find people are using and playing around in there myself, and it is definitely definitely user friendly. So this falls in the category of beginner. So if you're new to editing your videos or you don't really know what you're doing, this is a really great app for you and it works well for both Apple and Android. Now there is the free version or there's a paid pro plan or you could just buy, I think per month as it is for a subscription of the InShot and that will remove the InShot watermark. Now the one tip that if you want to remove the watermark without actually paying is by watching an ad before you export your video and therefore you get the watermark removed and it's absolutely free so really great option now again I categorize this under the beginner uh, category so if you're new to video and making videos then this is the great app for you however for me the one downfall that I I don't really like about it is the inability to layer your videos. Um, and what that means is bringing in some B-roll like this when it comes to creating your video where you can hear me talking and you see a different video. Now, right beside that is an app called VLLO or VLO. I don't know how to actually say it. And again, this is not an app that I use, but just doing my own research. It works for both Apple and Android. It is available out there for you and it actually allows a little bit more option for you so this falls under the category of more of the intermediate 
to maybe a little bit more advanced when it comes to creating your video content. Now, some of the features in Vlo or VLLO, literally I have no clue what the actual name is, that I love as a video editor myself is the ability to stack your layers and most of all is the ability to add in what is called an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer allows you to color grade or put on almost like a filter to your videos or add in other effects right into that adjustment layer. And that is a feature that you will find mostly through more advanced editing software programs. So when it comes to VLLO, this is not a free app. You have to pay for it. However, if again, you're still that beginner, but moving more to intermediate to advanced, a really great option for you. Again, works well for both Apple and Android. Now, next up is my favorite program and the program that not only I teach my masterclass students how to use, but also the app that I use myself is Adobe Rush. Now, Adobe Rush is uh, very similar to iMovie from Apple and that it's a lot more user friendly and it is kind of like their baby program of the more professional program, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit all of my videos as well as my clients videos. However, Adobe Rush is really a way to kind of more user friendly user face, the ability to edit from your phone, which is amazing. But also again, when you're talking more about a pro program, not only does it require a lot more out of your computer, but it also means there's a lot of intricacy where they've kind of dumbed it down in a sense and put that into Adobe Rush. Now, Adobe Rush is used for both Apple or both Android, so I love it. Now, the fa my most favorite thing about Adobe Rush and why I actually recommend it for my students is the fact that you can start editing on your phone and then you can finish your editing from your PC. So if there's more things that you want to get in there and it's a little bit easier from your desktop, then you can go right to your computer and continuing editing on the same project. Now, the other cool thing with Adobe Rush is the ability to play around with the audio. Now, a lot of video editing apps don't allow you to play around with the audio, so this is an amazing feature. Now, what I actually encourage you guys to do is go follow Adobe on Instagram and they kind of show just little short form videos of their different editing program and they show all the ability that you can do with Adobe Rush. Now, they have done a really good job with this, this program. However, it's still in its beta stages. So meaning there are still some glitches with it that I have found and things that they're just building and creating on there. Now, the other really cool thing, if you are more of an advanced editor, is that you can actually take your project from Adobe Rush and add it into Adobe Premiere. So if there's things that you just want to do a little bit more keyframing and different things when it comes to your video, you can go right into the more professional program and continuing editing there. Now, like I mentioned, my absolute favorite is the fact that I can start on my phone or record on my phone, import into Adobe Rush, and then move to my desktop where it's so much easier to edit my videos and continuing on over there. So that is probably our favorite and our most used program or app when it comes to video editing. This also does range on the higher price point. Uh, for example, InShot is on the lowest range where Adobe Rush is on the more expensive range. However, if you do have Adobe Cloud where you have access to all of Adobe's products or even if you are paying for Adobe Premiere, you get Rush for free. Now, we have also figured out a workaround on how you can actually go and use the program for free and still use it on your desktop and really how you can work around paying for it but still get some more functions out of it, which is really cool. Now, right beside Adobe Rush is iMovie. Now, iMovie is free for Apple users. It is a very user-friendly, very basic program that if you have an Apple computer or even an iPhone, you have access to iMovie for free, which is pretty incredible. Now, there is some things, I've used iMovie before and it's a great program to start with, but there are some things that I did find it lacked in, in the ability to edit and change the audio as well as uh, add and layer in some videos. However, with that said, for a free program and if you are an Apple user, that is an amazing place to start like I did.
Now, a very last for Apple users in the video editing app and one that works well, whether you're a beginner or advanced. And in fact, the advanced feature it uh, does allow are pretty incredible is called Luma Vision. Now, there is no free version of Luma Vision. It's only paid. Um, and the thing that I absolutely love about this is the ability to adjust so much. You can color grade, you can layer your videos, play around with your audio. It is honestly a fantastic, more advanced video editing app that is out there for Apple users only. So that's the only mm, to me is that I'm not an Apple user for various reasons and therefore I have the inability to use and play around with LumaVision, but it does rank up there if you are an Apple user. Now, like I had mentioned, I said I was gonna share what my favorite tool when it comes to really creating the video content that converts over is Capwing. Now, Capwing is something that you can actually access from your desktop, and what I love about this is my ability to make folders I'm kind of an organizer freak like that when I, I love to make sure everything's in folders so I can create folders for all my clients. I can have my team come in there and play around with there. And some of the really cool tools that Capwing offers that will actually help you convert your videos are the things like adding in subtitles, adding in a progress bar, and you can do some basic video editing there as well. Now, the reason why I said Capwing is my favorite tool for conversions is because you can add in things like subtitles, a progress bar, you can even do some basic video editing, you can change and reformat your videos. Now this is a big tool that we use when it comes to repurposing our content. And the fact is, is that most of our clients are coming with tons of content that they want to repurpose it for social media purposes, which is one of our the biggest portions of our business. So with that said is you're able to resize things. And again, you're able to do this all from a desktop. I can organize client folders as well as add in all those things that some clients may want, some others may not. Now, why subtitles and things like progress bar, what that really does is it's really just helping your audience stay engaged in the video. And as small as the watching of a progress bar goes going by, it kind of cues the audience or the viewer that they only have so much left of this video. And it almost plays in the tactic role of somebody wanting to get to that end of the video, wanting to see the progress bar all the way to the end. And if it's done well, which Capwing does, if it plays at a quick enough pace, it makes the viewer feel like the video is going by faster than it actually is. So adding in some of those features actually increases the views, the watch time of your videos, meaning that your content is actually getting listened to right till the end and all that call to action, all that value you are provided is actually getting heard. Uh, subtitles is the same thing. The fact is that the viewer is mostly watching the video on mute before actually pressing play or turning up their volume. So meaning subtitles is very important when it comes to any video content and is in fact a standard setting for all of our videos for our clients is again, making sure that there are those subtitles on it. Now, if you want more of a full review, remember it's all there inside the checklist. This is a really great guide for you to download, print, and you can kind of do your own analysis of what kind of equipment app, all those things that you want to do. This guide is meant for you to do this or follow it before you hit record so that you are prepared and you're making the best use of your time and making the best videos with that use of your time. So just go below this video and download the free guide there. Now make sure to head over to Instagram and go give us a follow. When you come back to this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up, but also comment your Instagram handle below so that we can start networking right here on this video. So with that said, guys, I post a new video every Sunday teaching you how to increase your revenue through the power of social media and making your very own video content. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I 
upload a new video. Now, while you wait for that video, make sure to check out some of these videos right here, and I'll see you back next week. Bye.